Guys, it's already gotten hot outside, at least where I'm located geographically. Sundresses, I'm starting to see those. Uh, Major League Baseball is in full swing. But I know for some of you where you're located, it's not hot yet. But don't fear, because I'm about to bring the heat right to your living room. This list is fire. <laughs> These are the top designer fragrances I'll be rocking this upcoming summer. And maybe, if you like my taste, maybe you'll be rocking them too. Let's talk about it. What's good, YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So on today's video, guys, I want to be talking about the top designer fragrances that I'll be wearing this upcoming summer. Now, how I usually choose my top fragrances for uh, the upcoming season is some of the classics, man. Some of the things that I always reach for uh, during those seasons and the second thing that I look for or that I usually choose is newer acquisitions to the collection So those are the type 2 fragrances you're going to see on this list So if you want to see what I have for my top designer fragrances I'll be rocking this summer and maybe you too if you like my recommendations You know how we do keep it locked right here. I'm going to run the intro and we'll get into it Let's get it The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this list of fragrances. All right, so the first thing I want to say really quickly, I have three fragrances that are high-end designer fragrances. So I want to show you those first. You know, a lot of us go back and forth with, where do I put these fragrances? They're technically designer fragrances, but they carry more niche prices and sometimes the creativity of the fragrance is a little bit um, more creative than what you'll see with a typical designer fragrance so for those reasons sometimes people struggle to say okay where do I put them with the designer fragrances or with the niche so designer fragrances high-end designer fragrances from the Tom Ford private blend collection this is Mandarino Diamante and this is not the aqua this is the original Mandarino Diamante now this one was discontinued, if I'm not mistaken, so it's been really hard to find. But over the past month or so, it's been starting to pop up. I think there's some on FragranceNet. I actually got mine from one of the uh, cosmetic discount stores where you can find Tom Ford fragrances for discounted prices. So when I saw it, I had to have it. Beautiful fragrance that has a beautiful, of course, as the name indicates, beautiful orange mandarin note in the opening. Love this stuff for the summertime. Then, of course, this one, guys, from the house of YSL, this is Trench. All right, this right here fragrance is like Iris and Fig. Honestly, for one of my uh, fragrances that I would put in that grab-and-go category, this is one of my favorite fragrances in said category now. Just absolutely love the way this stuff smells, and it's going to work really well in the summertime. Look forward to rocking this one. And last but not least, guys, this is from the house of Louis Vuitton, Afternoon Swim. Afternoon Swim, I really love this one as well. It, and it, it kind of, as the name would probably indicate to you, it puts you in the mindset of the summertime, of maybe being poolside or seaside. Yeah, this stuff is absolutely phenomenal, man. Again, easy to wear. Again, it just smells like the summertime. Definitely look forward to wearing uh, this one from Louis Vuitton. So I have 10 other designer fragrances I want to talk about. And the first one is this one. From the house of Giorgio Armani. This is Aqua Digio. And this is the Eau de Parfum. Now this fragrance came out last year. I want to say it was. And it was one of my favorite releases from, from last year. It's going to put you in the mindset. Of course of the original. Aqua Digio Eau de Toilette. But there are definitely some subtle differences with the fragrances. Now this is kind of a more modernized version of that fragrance. And again. I really like it. The first one was so popular, and it took so long for them to finally get to the Eau de Parfum, but I'm glad they did because I really like it. Nothing groundbreaking, but it definitely smells good, and it works for the summer. So, in the 10th spot, this is from the house of Giorgio Armani. This is Aquadigio Eau de Parfum. 
All right, guys. So the ninth spot for me is going to be this one from the house of Hermes. This is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givry. I really enjoy this fragrance, man. Again, like lemon cello. Uh, that's what this fragrance really reminds me of. That beautiful citron uh, kind of lemon note in the opening of the fragrance. And of course, when it dries down, you get some woods in there. And I love the juniper berries in this as well. It's just one of those really relaxing and kind of refreshing fragrances that I love to put on my skin when it's really hot outside in the uh, months of the summer. So in the ninth spot, please don't sleep on this one, guys. This is from the house of Hermes, and this is Terra d'Hermes Eau Givre. All right, guys, now the eighth spot for me. This fragrance really surprised me, man. I picked this one up a few weeks ago, and I've been loving it. It's from the house of Polo, and this is Polo Red Parfum. Polo Red Parfum. What you have in this one, man, you have blood orange, you have some lavender. To my nose, I get a lot of musk and cedar wood on a dry down, but this one really, really surprised me. Listen, remember when I first got it, I put it on my skin uh, after I took a shower, went to bed, and I could still smell it on my skin the next morning. Listen, I know it's Polo, but don't let that distract you from the fact that guys, trust me when I tell you, this is a nice fragrance, man. And again, I think it's going to do well for the summer. It's not as typical a summer fragrance as some of the other ones on this list, but it's going to work in the summer and it smells fantastic. So the A spot for me goes to this one from the House of Polo. This is Polo Red Puff On. All right, guys. So the seventh spot for me this year is going to come from the House of YSL. And this is YSL Y Eau de Parfum Intense. All right, so honestly, as I told you guys, man, I, there's so many flankers from this one now uh, that is crazy. So it's no different from any of the other releases uh, pretty much from the YSL lineage of fragrances. It works really well, in my opinion, when it's hot outside. When it's warm to hot outside, you take any fragrance from that YSL wide line of fragrances in summertime, springtime, is a great time to rock the fragrance, all right? It's easy to wear. It smells great. Like I said, my only problem is with this fragrance it is kind of a bit redundant with all the other six ysl y fragrances that we already have but because i did spend my money on it because it does smell good i am going to get some usage out of this thing this summer so the seventh spot from the house of ysl ysl y or the parfum intense now coming in and the sixth spot this is a fragrance that i think i've uh termed this fragrance or used these words to describe this fragrance first it's like a glass a fresh lemonade on a hot summer day. This is Dior Cologne, man. This thing just smells, it smells great. Like I said, there's no way for me to really describe the way this thing smells other than to use the descriptive words that I used uh, a few moments ago. Again, you, I can remember so many days growing up in the summertime where, you know, of course, hot, humid outside, and nothing made me feel better as a glass of fresh lemonade. Well, maybe... A glass of Kool-Aid. <laughs> I know a lot of you probably never had Kool-Aid before in your life, but I had a lot of Kool-Aid back in the day. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Dior Homme Cologne. This thing is just so good when it's hot outside, man. It's really cooling. You know, it makes you, it really get, puts me in a good mood when I wear this fragrance. And that's one of the characteristics I look for in a fragrance that I'm going to wear in the summertime. I don't want anything too heavy. Of course, nothing cloying. This is the absolute opposite of that. So I love it. And uh, it has its fair share of supporters out there in the world for the summertime. From the house of Christian Dior, this is Dior own Cologne. All right, guys. So coming in in the fifth spot, this fragrance comes from another one from the house of Hermes. And this one is called Un Jardin Sur la Nile. This one is Un Jardin Sur La Nil from the house of Hermes. This is a fragrance that uh, when I first started making fragrance related content, I heard a lot about this fragrance. It took me, for whatever reason, such a long time to get this in my collection, but I'm so glad that I have it uh, in my possession now. I actually even have the uh, body or shower gel uh, to go along with this fragrance because I want to layer it in this, this summer. But anyway, this is great. Very unique fragrance, man. Some very interesting notes here. You have some grapefruit, some uh, some mango in here as well. So I love that opening there. And it's kind of contrasted by some more culinary notes that you normally don't find in fragrances. Carrot, tomato. So it kind of gives this almost spicy, vegetal, almost, again, culinary feel to the fragrance. But it's balanced well by 
a lot of other citrus and floral nuances in the fragrance when it dries down you get a little bit of iris and musk in there just to name a few things but this stuff is phenomenal man this stuff is phenomenal it's as good as people has advertised it to be so looking forward definitely to wearing this one from the house of hermes this is un jardin sir lanita all right guys now this next fragrance is a classic this is one of those fragrances when i talked earlier and said it's just a fragrance i always reach for in the summertime Honestly, this is probably always could always be number one uh, because I love this fragrance so much. It's from the house of Versace. This is Versace Man Eau Fresh. Man, if you just talk about one of the best summer fragrances of all time, when you look at every aspect, the how it smells, how appropriate the scent DNA is for the summer, the price point, how accessible the fragrance is, it, it has it all. I love this stuff. This is one of those fragrances that honestly... I'm not a huge oversprayer, but I will overspray the heck out of this thing. And it's just so inoffensive, man. Gosh. Just one of the best summer fragrances ever created. A lot of people talk about that that uh, Cambola uh, note in here. Uh, Star Fruit. This thing is amazing, guys. One of the best summer fragrances, again, in my opinion, of all time. From the house of Versace. This is Versace Man Eau Fresh. All right, guys. Now, coming in at the third spot. This is a fragrance that I actually acquired this year. And I told you guys when I talked about it, this is one of my favorite designer fragrances that was released this year, 2023. It's from the house of Bulgari, and it's Bulgari Man Rain Essence. Bulgari Man Rain Essence. Honestly, man, if you look at this whole Essence collection, there's some other really good ones, Wooden and Rolly. Uh, there was a, a few really good fragrance releases from this whole uh, collection of fragrances, and this is one of the best. They did not take a step back. When they released this one, honestly, this is one of my favorites. That this and Wood Neroli were really, really good. Uh, but listen, um, like I said, when this fragrance opens up, man, that T note, that green T note is just ah, perfect, perfect fragrance note. Uh, but I also really love the uh, usage of that a white lotus, which is a white floral note. It kind of lends to that whole idea of the essence of rain or after the rain. I would say it uh, that way, man. Phenomenal fragrance, man. Phenomenal fragrance, of course. Juicy Mandarin note in the opening. Love this stuff for the summertime. Looking forward to wearing it from the house of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. All right, guys. Now, coming in at the number two spot on the list, this is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche, the one with the white cap. Highly regarded by many as one of the best fragrances to wear in the summertime. And it is definitely that for me, in my humble opinion. This is one that always makes the list for me. I can't get enough of wearing this fragrance when it is hot outside. Now, you hear a lot of people say that it's very versatile and it can be worn year round. I would definitely agree with that. You have that beautiful, creamy, woody, sandalwood base, and of course, the bright citrus opening, which is really what makes this fragrance. A lot of people talk about being a creamy citrus fragrance. That's really a way to really simplify it. But again, it's great to wear in the summertime. It always makes my list, and it probably always will for the foreseeable future. In the second spot, from the house of Chanel, Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. All right, guys, and coming in at the number one spot is a fragrance from the house of YSL, and this is L'Anne de Lone Blue Electric. Now, listen, guys, if you're out there and you have this fragrance and you have a 100 ml bottle, please, I'll <laughs> ask your boy. This is a 50 ml, and I really want to get this in a 100 ml bottle because this thing is just, it's mind blowing. Listen, it gets compliments, all those good things when I've worn this. It's, it's so good. It reminds me so much of the original. It has all of the essences of the original, including that cardamom note up top. But the game changer in this one is geranium. Geranium gives this really aromatic freshness to that DNA. <sighs> I don't want to say takes it to the next level, but what it does for this DNA, I really enjoy it, man. So love this fragrance. I'm going to probably finish this 50 ml bottle uh, this upcoming summer because it's that good. So obviously that's why it's in the number one spot. I absolutely love this fragrance from the house of YSL. This is Lime Weed Alone Blue Electric. That's it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, what are some of the fragrances you look forward to wearing this upcoming summer? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. 
And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.